Ashley in his news briefing, Governor Lamont spoke confidently saying students and teachers are safe to continue in person learning based on data, but the state's largest teacher union says those numbers don't matter. Educators and school officials blaring their horns in front of the governor's mansion to make a point. They do not feel safe returning back to the classrooms. Districts that chose to return had to come up with a plan on how to do so safely. We have to be on guard, not let down our guard, but on guard and have the protocols uh, enacted the way they're supposed to be. So we want the protections, whether it's the masking, the social distancing, et cetera. And now with vaccines available, very important to vaccinate teachers and school staff. Jeffrey Leak with the Connecticut Education Association says that's not being seen. The social distancing standard, we started out, and everybody here knows it, at a six foot distancing uh, 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 protocol. Where are we now? In some classes, it's down to two and a half to three feet. Governor Lamont speaking on the safety of schools in his briefing this afternoon, showing this chart. He says the number of positive K through 12 student and staff cases has gone down since January. So will he have to push the 5% of districts which are still fully remote to go back in person? We don't have to. I mean, I'd say, um, you know, well over 90% of our schools are open. Um, for in-person learning, and a majority of them are uh, full-time in-person learning. Uh, so, uh, so far, so good. There's, there's no schools that are saying no because I don't want my kids going to school. I think teachers are, are showing up and are really doing the right thing. The American Federation of Teachers disagrees. They say just because the numbers have gone down, that does not mean safety is guaranteed. It's troublesome that we do not have an equitable or transparent approach and keeping schools, students, and staff safe. And Governor Lamont said he very soon will be rolling out $200 million a year for schools so learning can get back on track. I'm live in Hartford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.